The prisoner's dilemma can be illustrated as follows. Two suspects were arrested as implicated in a serious crime. Unfortunately, the evidence against them is not enough to condemn them unless at least one of them confesses. The two suspects are then locked in separate cells so that they cannot communicate with one another. Investigators give the suspects two choices. They may either confess or remain silent. If one confesses and the other remains silent, the first will be released and the second will serve 20 years in prison. both confess, they will each be sentenced to serve five years in prison. Finally, if both remain silent, they will only be convicted for minor offences and each will just serve one year in prison. Whatever the other does, one should confess. Let's consider the first prisoner. If he confesses, when the other confesses too, he will serve five years instead of twenty. While, if he confesses, when the other does not confess, he will be released instead of serving one year. This also applies to the second prisoner. If she confesses, when the other confesses too, she will serve five years instead of twenty. While, if she confesses, when the other does not confess, she will be released instead of serving one year. However, if both suspects confess, they get the result which is collectively the worst. Consequently, being rational does not lead to the best result. The prisoner's dilemma has been studied in more than a thousand contributions. Here are a few.